What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. Today is a bit of a different video today. I'm going to be comparing the Arteza colored pencils with the Prismacolor colored pencils. So this video I'm not going to review too much of the Prismacolor colored pencils because I got them like a long time ago and it makes sense for me to review them like a long time ago along when I first got them. So that's why I'm not going to review the Prismacolor ones. I'm just going to be comparing the uh, Arteza colored pencils with the Prismacolor colored pencils. See what similarities and differences they both share and don't share. I'm going to break this video down into a few parts. One, I'm going to start and review the uh, Arteza colored pencils and uh, I'm going to do some research on the website and see what sets you can get in terms of the colored pencils. Arteza does have a wide range of art supplies so I'm not going to go over every single art supply that they have on their site. I'm just going to go over the colored pencils specifically. The second, I'm going to compare their uh, color selection in terms of colored pencils. And then the third, I'll create a full color illustration using half Arteza colored pencils and the other half with Prismacolor colored pencils. And then while I'm doing that drawing, I'll talk about the performance of the colored pencils overall. Also, just a disclaimer, I have done a lot of marker reviews lately and I'm kind of doing a review today. I, I think this is my first colored pencil review. So since I'm used to doing marker reviews, so I might end up saying markers in place of colored pencils at some point in the video. So just don't get mad at me. But anyway, let's get to the video. Arteza colored pencils to see what sets you can buy. And then later on, we can go on and talk about the price and everything. So let me go to their site and see what they got on here. So this is what I have. I have the professional colored pencils, but I have the 120 set. And um, they come in sets of 48, 72, and 120. So here's the 48 set. So the 48 set is like $26 on their website. So if you do the math, 26 divided by 48. So you're getting each pencil for about 54, 55-ish cents. 27.29 divided by 72. So you're getting each pencil for about 38 to 40 cents. So let's see, the 120 set, 73.49 divided by 120. So you're getting each pencil for about 62 cents. But all in all, I don't think Arteza sells their colored pencils individually, but Prismacolors they do, but I'll do the math about that later. But Arteza, if you want their colored pencils, you gotta buy it in a set. If you run out of lead in your colored pencil, you gotta buy a whole nother set. Because they don't come individually. Now let's talk price about the Prismacolor colored pencils. Okay, so they have the 150 pack for $89 just about. So if you do the math, 89 divided by 150. So you're getting each pencil for about 60 cents. And I get that this Prismacolor set of 150 colored pencils is a little bit more expensive than the Arteza colored pencils because Arteza, they have a wide range of 120 colors. Prismacolor has 150. So I get the, so I understand that Prismacolor is a little bit more expensive than that just because there's more colored pencils in that set. So let's go to the Prismacolor website and find out what sets of colored pencils you can get. I also, I also forgot to mention Arteza do have watercolor colored pencils. And the sets that I mentioned earlier, the 72, 48, and uh, 120, they also come in watercolor pencils. But I personally don't like using watercolor pencils because they're made to work with watercolors and I use markers most of the time and they're also a wet media. And when I do use color pencil and stuff for my illustrations, I try not to make the pencil like interfere with the marker too much because it's gonna make my illustration turn out uh, weird and plus I don't have that much experience using uh, watercolor pencils so that's why I'm not a big fan of those but just letting you guys know that the website's not telling me anything so it looks like they have a set of 36, 48, 12, 72 and that's looks like a looks like that's about it and they also have prismacolor scholar i never use those kind of pencils but i can't really tell the difference between the prismacolor scholar and prismacolor premier so there are two different types scholar i think uh is made for like school drawings or whatever but i never use them in school so i i just like gravitated towards prismacolor premier and there's also a portrait set that comes in 24 oh and they have they also have sketching pencils arteza has sketching pencils too and also the prismacolor set i have i used to have the 72 set but for some reason i still have this tin i do have the 150 set so i do have a wide range of colors too okay i don't feel like talking anymore let's just open these guys up and see what we got
Okay, so here are the color swatches for the both Arteza color pencils and the Prisma color ones. The only reason you see a couple of spots uh, missing here is because I, I do have the 150 set but only 120 colored pencils can fit in this case. And when I do this illustration, Arteza and Prismacolor are kind of battling on an even playing field, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I'd say Arteza has a better selection of vibrant colors. I'd say Arteza and Prismacolor, in terms of color selection, is really good. But Prismacolor does have more muted colors. That's not a complaint. I do... I don't like a lot of muted colors. Like, these, like, couple of blues here, I don't use a lot of. But... They're still there, like, when I need them. That's fine. But Arteza doesn't have any muted colors. Everything here is pretty vibrant and everything. If I do need to go to, like, a muted color or whatever, I can kind of mix the blues and the grays together. They don't have a big selection of skin tones. Like, Arteza has, like, a few, like, five or six or so. Prismacolor only has, like, two or three, according to here. And then right here, so, like, about four or five-ish. And then there is a big selection of browns up here and then down here too but i'll tell you one thing arteza doesn't have any fluorescent colors like when i mean fluorescent i mean like neon colors like you see in this box right here there's some neon colors there arteza doesn't have any and arteza does have a bigger selection of greens than the prisma color ones and um i think they have the same amount of blues and purples and arteza does have a bigger selection of reds too than the prisma color ones and arteza barely has any oranges prisma color has like three or four and i see only like two if you count this as orange then that's three so like i only see two oranges according to this chart i was also hoping for like a very light blue in the arteza set but neither brand has a very light blue at the same time i'm also okay with it because colored pencils you can actually get a lighter color it depends on how much pressure you put on the pencil if you want a very very light color you can really like use less pressure on it when you're uh, coloring But first, <laughs> we gotta split it in half. Before I begin talking about the drawing, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about the inspiration for the drawing, in which I got from an episode of Talking Tom and Friends. If you don't know what that show is, it's actually based off an app with a talking cat where he repeats whatever you say and you can play and take care of it and whatever. Based off that remarkable character, they made a web series about it. I call it a web series because you can only find episodes on YouTube. The series is on Netflix, but there's only one season, which kind of sucks. That's why I watch episodes here on YouTube. Anyway, the idea for the drawing came out of a episode episode from season four. It was on an episode entitled Good Girls Fall for Bad Boys. The title itself is really inspiring. So that's where I got the idea for that drawing from. Okay, so now talking about the colored pencils. Earlier you saw me split my drawing in half. I'm only doing one side with the Arteza colored pencils and the other side with my Prismacolor colored pencils. And then in the end when I scan the entire drawing we can look at them side by side and compare the two. So talking about the Arteza colored pencils, these colored pencils actually gr glide across the paper really smoothly. And that's something I really like. It might also be because the paper is smooth. I'm using Strathmore Bristol paper, by the way. There are some parts to that side where I didn't have to use two shades to shade an entire area. One area of marker, I just included one mode of shading. I didn't have to use another one, but I chose not to. I can apply more pressure to the colored pencil to hopefully get a darker shade. If it were a dark color, then I could use black to shade it. But in most cases, if it's a really light color or a color with a very light value, then it'd be hard to get another blend because I only have so many colored pencils to choose from. But other than that, these Arteza colored pencils work really great. They can easily blend into each other really great. So if you're trying to go for a really nice gradient, then these colored pencils will do you good. Now talking about the Prismacolor colored pencils. Honestly, I can't really tell too much of a difference between the two brands. Compared to the Arteza colored pencils, their color selection, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, Prismacolor does have a bigger selection of dark tones, as in colors with darker values. So if I need to go really, really dark, then I can use uh, Prismacolor. But yeah, just like the Arteza colored pencils, these pencils do glide across the paper really smoothly and they are really easy to blend. You can almost see a gradient. Looking at the seat from the background, it kind of does look like a really nice gradient from dark to light. And it's a really good transition from that dark color to that base color of marker that I put down earlier. A big difference for me would be the white colored pencils in both brands. I'm used to using the Prismacolor white colored pencil and I'm used to using it uh, to brighten up my entire artwork. The Arteza white colored pencil, it almost did the job, but it's not opaque enough for me to 
you know, brighten up my entire drawing. But in this case, I'm not going to intentionally go for uh, brightening up my piece because there's already sort of a tonal interest in the entire piece, that whole blue light that you see. So I probably wouldn't need the white colored pencil anyway, but I do have the tendency to use it on the seat. But the Arteza one, but it almost went all the way, I'd say like 75% of the way to uh, brightening up my artwork. But the Arteza white colored pencil would be my plan B in case something happens. But yeah, it almost did the job. It did good enough, so I can't say it didn't work out for me in the end. Also, like I mentioned earlier, there weren't a lot of skin tones for me to choose from. So for this girl's skin, I had to use a light color. And there weren't a lot of selections of skin tones. So I had to use about two to help blend. But it wasn't really like helpful. I had to use two skin tone colored pencils to help blend. But you probably can't see it because it's got a light value. So I understand that. But I do wish both brands did have a bigger selection of colored pencils. Prismacolor I do know have sets of skin tone colors that I don't have. But I feel like the 150 set of Prismacolor colored pencils would have every skin tone that Prismacolor has to offer. But I kind of had to work with what I had. So I took the drawing and I scanned it into my computer so you guys can see a clear side by side comparison between how I use the Arteza colored pencils on one side and the Prismacolor colored pencils on the other side. Let me know what you guys thought of it. I personally think both colored pencils work great because earlier I think I mentioned that I couldn't really tell much of a difference between the two. So I'll include both in my collection and I'll probably use both in the long term. Back then I think I made a drawing just like this a long time ago but I don't think I used colored pencils on it. So here's the original drawing compared to the one I did today. I really think I improved because I think it's been like three years. But this video isn't really intended to be a redraw your own art. But earlier I mentioned where I got my inspiration from so you could say that I redrew this drawing today but it's not meant to be that kind of video and speaking of video if you like today's video give it a like and a comment subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload and I'll see you in my next video Bye.